oh, it's been a great holiday weekend. Yeah. It really has, and we got to check the weather forecast. Yeah, I think people started taking their holiday weekend last holiday weekend, or like last weekend, I should say, like I know, Saturday. Seems like we did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's send it back to the CBS 3 studios. Matt Peterson, people have been extending this holiday right. weekend, but what does the actual weekend look right. like? Yeah. Holiday week, weekend for Yuki, it's a holiday month, you know, you know, it's how, how some of the, uh, how some people get to live, you know? So, uh, but those of us that have uh, been out and they've been trying to uh, enjoy bits and pieces of this holiday weekend, it's been hot, it's been humid, and as we get ready to move into uh, Saturday and Sunday, the actual weekend, it looks like this theme of warm, muggy conditions and maybe a couple of thunderstorms are going to uh, continue. That theme is going to continue through the next couple of afternoons. Neighborhood Network in Plymouth meeting shows you a very ominous looking sky here as we move through the 6 o'clock hour, almost 630 here. And as we looked again towards the Plymouth meeting area, we we are watching areas of showers and thunderstorms that have been developing for the last couple of hours. They've slowly been working their way across the area. They started in parts of South Jersey. Then they've now slowly worked their way towards Philly as well. And as we zoom in, you can see where we're seeing some of that more moderate to heavy rainfall. It's up near Norristown as we get into the northern parts of Montgomery County. Pottstown looks like it's going to get a pretty decent downpour here in the next probably couple of minutes or so up towards Montgomery. And then even as we get then out into upper Bucks County to get ready for a round of uh, some heavier downpours and as we just kind of stop the picture for you real quick right there north of Norristown you see some yellow and orange and then even a little bit of red mixing in and again that's just very indicative of that heavy heavy rain and those very drenching downpours that we will continue to see now flash flooding could potentially be a threat while these showers and storms are going on there is a flash flood warning that is in effect for parts of Burlington County until 8 o'clock because earlier we had some very strong thunderstorms move through western parts of Burlington County. Now, while it's not raining currently there, again, still dealing with some of the effects. Excessive heat warning for the I-95 quarter. This goes until 7 o'clock tomorrow evening with heat index values tomorrow afternoon that could be as high as the triple digits. As we go through the overnight hours tonight, showers and storms will diminish. We should wake up generally quiet on Saturday morning, but our Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening, we're going to wait for a cold front to come on through, and that means more shower and thunderstorm activity is likely for us on Saturday. Our comfort index will will show that we do eventually get a little bit more comfortable early next week. And if you're lucky enough to be maybe north of the city going through the Poconos the next couple of days, again, a chance for some showers and storms. Temperatures, though, a little bit more comfortable for us. Quick look at the seven day here. 90 tomorrow in the city, 80 Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. And then we could see that uh, 90s return, Jess and Yuki, as we get into the middle of next week. But the good news for us, at least I think early on Monday, Tuesday of uh, this coming work week, that humidity is going to break, making it a little bit more comfortable. That's really good news. Yeah, really the good news. The humidity is what gets you. Indeed. No question about it. Matt.